this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use the URL dailyfashionstore.com, which is a WordPress website. So accordingly, I'll leave this selected as WordPress here. And I'll also check this WooCommerce toggle here, then give my app a name, which will be Daily Fashion. I can then hit build app and then at my site, we'll start analyzing the website. And once that is complete, we'll be taken straight to the app's dashboard. And now we get to start customizing the app. We'll first be taken to this appearance section, which is where we can design our app icon. And if you don't yet have an icon, then you can use some basic settings here to create your own. But if you've got an actual app icon, then you can click this upload option to upload an image from your computer. With that done, I can tap on next and I'll now be taken to the launch screen section, which is the screen you see straight after opening your application, but before the actual app content loads. And again, we can either create one right here by adjusting these various parameters, or we can of course use the upload function again to add our own images, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, with that uploaded, I'm gonna hit next. And then if your site has one, you'll be taken to the login and sign up page. As with the previous sections, we've also got loads of customization options on this page. But for the time being, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload a logo and I'm gonna tweak some of these other settings to suit my personal preference. But honestly, it is staggering just how quickly you can achieve something that looks really professional using these customization settings. With that done, I'll again hit next. And now I'm taken to the color theme section and I'm gonna keep things pretty minimal here and select white as my primary color and then a dark gray as my text color. I'll also change the font to Poppins Semi Bold, which I really like the look of. And then I'm gonna adjust the button color here so it's this darker yellow color, which again, I quite like. With that done, I'll hit next. And the last page here in this initial setup process is our home screen, which basically allows us to customize what pages are visible from our website within the app. I'm actually gonna disable the home header and the main banner here for a cleaner look. I'm gonna also move the sale product section to the top, but then for the time being, I'm gonna leave everything else as is. I'll hit next, and that's the key setup of our app complete. From there, we need to actually connect our website using a WordPress plugin. So let's quickly open up our website's WordPress dashboard, then come to the plugin section and select add new. Then we wanna simply search for at my site and click on install now and then on activate. Then I can come back to at my site and open up this connectivity page. And from here, I can click on install plugin and then click on verify. We'll then be taken to this grant access section. And on this page, we need to first activate this toggle, then enter our administrator username from WordPress, and then a password that we need to define via the user profile section on our WordPress dashboard. And once we've copied those details in, we can hit verify. And with that done, our app is technically now ready for testing. But before we do that, I do also wanna to come to this settings menu here and tweak a few additional settings. Firstly, I'm gonna click on the bottom bar and disable the home and blog buttons. Then I'm gonna tap the settings button next to the shop option here and select this as the default selection. I'm then gonna tap on the settings button for the profile option here and tap this button to change the icon. There are a heap of pre-made icons to choose from here, but I'm gonna search for the word edit and then select this icon and then click on add. I'll then drag the profile item so it sits above the menu item. Now I'm gonna click on the style option and change the border color to white. I'll also change the item color to a dark gray and then change the selected item color to that same yellow color I used previously. I might even disable this show text option for an even cleaner look, then I'll hit save. Now, as you can see, there are a huge number of additional features that are worth looking into if you are using the At My Site platform, including adding the option to enable guest browsing, adding monetization options to your app, setting up chat functionality, plus a heap more that I do not have time to cover in this video. So I'm gonna leave everything else as is for the time being and jump forward to the testing and finalizing steps. Now, there are three options for previewing your completed app. The first is to come to the preview page here and view an emulated version of your app on iOS or Android, which works pretty well as an in-between, but nothing quite compares to actually previewing an app on a smartphone device. And amazingly, At My Site also offers this functionality available via two methods. The first is to install the At My Site application. And once you're logged in, you'll be able to preview any of your apps straight away. But my preferred option is to build an actual APK version of the app, which we can then download and install on our phones. 
To do this, we need to come to the download section and there is an option for both iOS and Android here, but because I'm gonna showcase the app on an Android phone in this video, I'll go ahead and click build Android app. I'll then hit confirm and I'll leave everything on this page toggled off for the time being, but you may want to look into these depending on your use case, but I'll now go ahead and tap on build app. That'll then initialize my build request, which could take a few minutes to complete. And once it has, it'll then start actually building an APK version of the app. I'm obviously going to speed this process up for the sake of this video, but once it has completed, I'll be able to download an APK version of my app, which I can then transfer over to my phone. And so here's the APK file downloaded and ready to go. And when I first open it, you'll see that I get a prompt saying this app does not have permission to install applications. So I'll just need to go ahead and grant it that necessary permission. But with that done, it'll now install my application. And once it is installed, I can then tap on open. And here we go. We are into our application. Now you just saw the launch screen there when I first opened it, and now we've been redirected to our login page. But for the time being, I'm gonna browse the app as a guest, which is an option I enabled under the user settings page. And now we're into the main interface of our app. And as you can see, this looks just like a shopping application should. I can browse through this main page here and tap on any product. I can then read more about any given product, view the images related to that product, and even add it to my cart. I can then come back and tap here to view product categories. And if I tap on one, there you go. There are all of the products within that particular category. I can even search for products and that works beautifully. And if I come back to the home page again, you can see recently viewed products down the bottom. And let me remind you how quickly this took to set up. You literally watch me do it. And yet the end result is phenomenal. I can also tap on the profile menu here and look at the really nicely integrated profile page. I'm obviously browsing as a guest at the moment, but if I do log in, it'll then let me edit my profile information, view past orders, change my password, or even adjust some app settings, which is amazing. And I didn't even have to do any of this. The app my site platform just did it all for me. And what's really cool is that if I realize that something isn't quite right about the app, so let's say I wanna change this menu icon here, then I could just come back to the app my site platform, change it to, let's say this quill icon, for example. And then once I hit save, I can come back to my phone, quit and reopen the app. And there you go. The icon has been updated automatically without me needing to rebuild and install a new APK. There are some features that do need to have the APK rebuilt, but most of the features related to how the app looks can just be updated without ever having to rebuild the thing. It's awesome. And so there you have it. That is how easy it is to transform a website into a fully functioning mobile application. And I think you'll agree the end result is super impressive. I can see this being an incredible tool for all sorts of businesses, bloggers, or even creators looking to diversify their digital presence. So if you wanna try it at my site, then you can do so using the first link down in the description below. But that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to the team at, at my site for supporting the channel and I will catch you later.